Okay, so here's another combination. I'm still using the exact same necklaces because I'm still going for that two-tone look, mixing metals today. Now, my next ring is a yellow gold ring. This is actually an Orbis ring with the removable ball. I have balls of different colors. I have this one on. It's in white. I chose this one because it actually matches my outfit quite well. Okay, so and then I've layered it with my Bell watch. It's two-tone with white face. I've layered it with my usual gold bracelets that I wear. I usually wear my yellow gold down by the yard and this cutie, which is also in, ye in yellow gold. And I have my white enamel bracelet. It matches perfectly with the ring, the white face of the watch, and then also my two-tone bracelet. So here we go. So this is it. And I'm still using the same necklaces, combination of white gold and yellow gold. Okay, so that's my second way to accessorize this dress on a hot summer day. Okay, so my next look, I have my pink crystal clear ring. I still have my yellow gold bracelets, these two. So I have my two-tone bangle with the diamonds. And this time I've paired it with my Invicta yellow gold watch. Now, I bought this watch, I don't know, it's been a while. It's been a while. But, you know, everybody's crazy about the large yellow gold watches. So I bought it not knowing that I would love it. I was thinking, okay, I'll kind of try that trend. I love it because number one as I've gotten older I do need a bigger face on my watches but I do love this look because this watch by itself is the perfect accessory you don't even have to wear much when you wear this watch so a lot of the times too I will not wear but maybe one or two very thin bracelets with it like this like so because this watch speaks for itself. It's a very inexpensive watch, but my God, does it make an impact to your wardrobe and your wrist. It's the perfect wrist candy. So this is my look with this yellow gold watch, but still keeping with the same outfit. Okay, let's try something different. Okay, so here's my next look. Notice I have taken off some of my necklaces. So the only one I have is my initial necklace and this very thin everyday yellow gold necklace that I, I really take off unless I completely change metals. Now, if you notice I have, and this is a uh, genuine leather, genuine leather bracelet. It's a rose. And you know what? This is for days when I don't need a watch. I'm not worried about time during those days. And so then I layer with this bracelet. But I also make sure that I'm also wearing shoes that are the exact same color. And this is a very uh, pretty bracelet. And it is a very, it's a nude color. And then I wear it with this simple yellow gold ring. So this is it. Simple, cute, not much going on here, but it still makes quite an impact, especially for the outfit. And it matches the dress perfectly. Okay, my next look for you. White gold can stand alone. Or white metals can stand alone. Okay, so this is what I have. I have on my my white gold necklace this time and also have my diamond key charm here on it. I don't know if y'all can see that pretty well. So this time on my hand, I have my diamond, Pave diamond ring and I have my Tag Heuer uh, watch, wrist watch with, it has a pink face, matches my dress, I know. 
I'm crazy I'm silly and then I generally wear this particular bracelet with this watch this time I've layered it with my tennis bracelet which is in white gold now I love this watch it's a small watch but it, it can stand alone by itself I mean it really can so this is also a cute combination I'm going to show you some other ideas as well now sometimes you know when I put on I stack bracelets I feel like you know what I can take one off and if you notice it's still quite cute like this also I'm gonna try a different combination I'm just gonna try this is actually a James Avery bracelet um, I bought one for myself oh god probably 25 years ago I bought one for each one of my daughters they don't wear theirs so these are theirs so I generally will wear these as just little thin bangles there we go. Really? I can't snap it. Okay. Well, you kind of get the picture. I like this combination too. And then sometimes I will actually layer it with this bangle. It's open, it has little diamonds on the end, like that. And sometimes I'll wear this combination. And sometimes I will take that one off and wear this one. And let me just show you one more combination. Let me grab my other bracelet. Since I love the Van Cleef and Arpels bracelets, I also bought this one from TJ Maxx, but it's not Van Cleef and Arpels, obviously. And sometimes I will also stack this one with this particular watch and sometimes I will wear these two alone because I like the combination of the two together and sometimes I like the combination of these three together and here's another thing about me I guess I'm kind of silly but I do like my bracelets in odd and or stacking my wrist in odd numbers so i like three i like one i like threes i like fives i like sevens believe it or not i have done seven bracelets so this is probably my favorite combination okay okay one more white metal clip here so this is white metal white gold um and it is my initial again it has some little bitty diamond chips in it and then again i am wearing my diamond by the yard necklace in white gold okay kind of a change up love 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 this ring very fun ring it has diamonds in it i don't know if can tell and then i paired it with this cup bracelet it also has diamonds on the bars love 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 this look very simple very cute diamond studs or very small diamond little hug hoops I guess that's what you call them huggy hoops <laughs> yeah that's what I usually wear with this very simple very elegant very simple you can wear this with a very simple outfit or one that is quite bold as well okay so my last look I kept the same necklace necklaces sorry initial necklace down by the yard necklace this time I have my yellow canary Judith Ripka ring it's in two-tone with the bracelet and my watch with the pink face that matches my dress and then with a simple bracelet love this combination I love pink and canary yellow together to me that makes the perfect combination it's so feminine it's cute and it's quite bold if you think about it so that's my last combination for this dress i will try to make more videos 
um, about how to accessorize your neck, your hands, your wrists, and uh, I'll try to use different outfits, casual outfits, dressy outfits, you know, simple outfits, bold outfits. Uh, let me know what you think about the combinations that I have completed and uh, give me some ideas. Thanks. Bye.